start with breaking news. President Trump tweeting less than an hour ago that he plans to sign an executive order temporarily suspending immigration into the country. It's a move he says comes in light of the pandemic, as well as a need to protect jobs here in the U.S. Meantime, as the country continues to battle coronavirus, three governors are starting the process of reopening their states. Tennessee's governor announcing the vast majority of businesses will reopen on May 1st. Georgia, businesses like gyms and hair salons can reopen as soon as Friday. And in South Carolina, the governor gave the go ahead for some stores, beaches, and public spaces to reopen tonight. Those announcements coming the same day, New York City canceled all non essential events through the month of June. And that's despite the state's daily death toll falling below 500 for the first time since April 2nd. Also dropping the number of people admitted to hospitals across New York State. You can see here from this graph, we appear to be on the way to flattening that crucial curve. And an upcoming meeting between Governor Andrew Cuomo and President Trump could bring a compromise on federal assistance. With more on that, let's go to News 4's Ray Vietta, kicking off tonight's live team coverage from the Navy's hospital ship, The Comfort, docked on the west side. Ray. Hey, Stefan, the USNS Comfort sent to New York by the federal government by President Trump tomorrow. President Trump and, and Governor Andrew Cuomo will meet after a very public back and forth. This as New York hopes to ramp up testing and open up the economy. Outside Cobble Hill Health Center, a show of support. Support needed. The state says this Brooklyn nursing home has lost at least 55 people to COVID-19. We are part of the community. We feel connected to you. The state's nursing homes among the hardest hit by the pandemic. New York is still seeing hundreds of deaths a day. On Monday, the governor said 478 people lost their lives in the last 24 hours. It's the lowest single day death toll, but still so many lives. I think the governor is going to come in to see us tomorrow. He's coming to the Oval Office tomorrow afternoon. Andrew is going to be uh, coming in with some of his people. The two will have a lot to talk about. Today, Governor Andrew Cuomo said the key to opening up the economy is testing. Antibody testing now underway to figure out who had the virus and recovered and has some immunity. We're taking the most aggressive survey in the nation right now. 3,000 antibody tests will now be conducted every day at random. Today it was at a shop right on Long Island. Doctors say much more will be needed before opening up the economy. The city also now has five walk-up COVID-19 testing sites. My 300 labs are now saying I can't get the tests from the national manufacturer. With no timetable on how long that will take, New York City announcing iconic June celebrations will be canceled or postponed, like the Pride Parade. It was the one place where we felt completely safe with each other. Summer 2020 off to a quiet start with work underway to make sure the city and state can have a healthy rest of the year. I want to be very clear. We're going to be smart about how we come back. We're going to be smart about uh, how we turn the corner. We're not going to let our foot off the gas prematurely. We're not going to run the risk of this disease reasserting itself. Testing will undoubtedly be at the top of the agenda when the governor and President Trump meet tomorrow in the Oval Office. Now, as far as what's next, the timeline to when the state will reopen, that is still very much up in the air. The governor now also focusing on NYCHA, wanting to hand out hand sanitizer and masks at every building. We're live on the West Side tonight. I'm Ray Vieta, News 4 New York. Ray, thank you so much.